This is a ball balancing robot. It will try to balance the ball in the middle. We have used distance sensors as well as image recognition techniques to keep it balanced. Let's see how. This is the CAD design of the ball balancing robot. Here we can see a ping pong ball placed inside the box. This ball is free to move in the box. The box is placed on the side of the triangular edge, such that the box can act as a seesaw. To move the box up and down, we have attached a servo motor with the box, with the help of a link. There is an ultrasonic sensor placed at the end of the box, this measures the distance of the ball in front of it. This sensor sends the distance to the microcontroller, which sends commands to the servo motor. To move the box up or down, such that, the ball is always in the center of the box. Now let's see, how we made it, in the real world. We will take a servo motor, and connect and bend a wire in its horn. This wire will be attached to the box. The whole robot will be powered with this tiny motor. Then we will place a cardboard box on a cardboard triangle. This arrangement will act as a seesaw. The top box will be free to move up and down. We have attached the motor to the box through a wire. And we can see, that the box now moves up and down. At the other end of the box, we have attached an ultrasonic sensor. This sensor measures the distance between itself and the ball in front of it. The concept of the ball balancing robot is simple. The ball must remain in the middle of the box. If it rolls towards the left, then the box is raised from the left, so that it rolls down the other end. And if it rolls towards the right, then the box is raised from the right. This process repeats until the ball gets in the middle, gets stable and stops. This green ball seems to be balanced, but it is not in the middle of the box. The ball is too small. So the ultrasonic waves coming out of the sensor easily passes from the sides of the ball. That's why, it is not able to detect this ball properly. The sensor gets a constant reading, if the ball is exactly in between the transmitter and receiver transducer of the sensor. We also tried placing the ultrasonic sensor below the moving box to keep it balanced. But then we figured out that it is totally bullshit. Then we got back to our previous setup. But with a different ball. This white ball is slightly bigger than the previous one. Also, it is not spherical. It looks like the robot is trying to balance the ball. But then the ball sticks and stops rolling at its flat part. So, this won't work as well. Then we thought to stick two wheels together. This will restrict its motion to a straight line. This is forwards and backward. And, it is big enough to be detected by the sensor. But we were wrong. These wheels still get stuck on the sides of the box. So this won't work either. Finally, we got the right ball with proper dimensions, texture, and taste. Sorry what? Taste? Wait a minute. Who is Cha-Cha? Jokes apart. We got the right ball, now let's try to balance it. To balance it, we will be using PID control. The input will be the distance of the ball from the sensor. And the output from the PID control will be the angle of the servo motor, which will ultimately raise or lower the box. To roll the ball uphill or downhill, this continuous feedback loop should result in the ball being stable at the center. Here starts the process of tuning PID parameters. Day 1. Day 2. Day 3. Day 10. Day 100. Day 10,000. Day 1 billion. Day infinity. Day 2 times infinity. After an eternity, we were able to balance the ball for a very little time. Then we used the image recognition technique, OpenCV. In Python programming language, it has a threshold set for the orange color. It encircles any orange colored object seen from the camera and draws a green colored box around it. There is an imaginary line separating the video on the left and right. So, whenever it detects the object in left side, it displays the word left in blue color. And whenever it detects the object in right side, it displays the word right in red color. After detection, Python serially sends the data to the microcontroller and microcontroller moves the motor based on the input. For this period, the ultrasonic sensor is disconnected, and all the balancing work is done by camera and servo. That's all for now. See you again with more robotic technologies. Robotics every day.